Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an update to my project wax. I'm currently recording this video at the very end of July, so it's basically the August update, but I am putting in like a few candles for the start of fall, just because I'm feeling like I might want to start burning those soon. So I will have a few like fall transitional candles being put in, but I have a ton of empties to show you guys because I technically have not updated since the end of June. So it's been like a month and a couple weeks. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into what I finished off. So these first two are actually from Empties in June. So the first one is Strawberry Daiquiri. This is a recent finish, or not recent finish, over a month, I guess. The notes on this one are frozen strawberries, sweet simple syrup, shot of tropical rum, and zesty citrus twist. This was basically champagne toast with like some strawberry in it. Nothing special on this one. It burned kind of weird at the end. I think I moved it while it was still like liquid, but yeah, here's the progress I had on that one. We did this like mainly in the kitchen. I like fruity scents in the kitchen. It was nice, would not repurchase it again. They probably won't come back out with it next year. And then I also finished off blueberry pie in June. Now this year's version of blueberry pie was not great. I, it was not a good thrower. Um, I've had it when it came out first in 2019, that was the best throw ever. It was like a eight or nine out of 10. It was super strong and really gooey pie it was beautiful and then I think it came out again in 2020 and that was also really good and this one was like not as great I think it was the wicks that were a problem they started drowning like pretty much up until like the halfway point they were drowning and it was really difficult to get it to like pull out correctly and actually scent my house so it was only like a five this time and it kind of started smelling sooty and like mucky like kind of yucky so I don't know it wasn't the best thrower um I'll probably still repurchase it though because I do love the scent. But yeah, it wasn't the best thrower this year. So that's Blueberry Pie. Finished that in June. Now let's get into what I finished in July. So that's this month. I finished off a Limoncello Cupcake from Homeworks, which, oh my God, I literally put it in the project unused or maybe used like once or twice. And yeah, it was all the way up here. I used it pretty much the entire month in my kitchen. It's a beautiful scent. I was so impressed. This is the first Homeworks candle that I've actually ever finished. So I'm putting in two more for this project because I want to see how they work and if they're as good as this one. But I think this does have, yeah, fragrance notes, limoncello, Sicilian lemons, candied lemons, creamy vanilla, and baked cupcake. I really didn't get too much cupcake in this. It wasn't very bakery to me. It was more like lemony and vanilla, like maybe lemon icing more than cupcake but it was so so good beautiful burn look how gorgeous Bare, barely any soot at all um it always pulled out evenly i think burning this one um i would burn it for four hours minimum so i'd usually burn it like the entire afternoon um and leave it on for a very long time and it was amazing great 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 candle so good so it makes me really excited for the other homeworks ones that i'm about to put in and then i also finished toasted pineapple marshmallow which i did do a review on this one if you want to check that out the notes on this are fresh pineapple milk chocolate toasty marshmallows and graham cracker honestly it was really just like a marshmallow pineapple scent really yummy i love this it was a great burner um as you can see it got a little sooty near the end um and i had some gunk problems but all around a really good candle and like a unique scent. It was fun for using in July just because it was like the pineappleness of it. So it was a fun scent. I might would pick it up again next year too. And then this one is my favorite and I've already purchased backups of it. Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Paris Cafe from the Blends Collection at the 2022 Summer SAS. So good. I hope they bring this out again. Honestly, I could see them like repackaging it as like cinnamon latte or cinnamon spice latte in the fall or in the winter. It was so good, you guys. Okay, the notes on this are rich roasted coffee, vanilla creme, ground cinnamon, and sugar crystals. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's Paris Cafe, but smooth and vanilla. The vanilla adds so much to it. I honestly hate Paris Cafe. It smells like freshly ground espresso beans. Like, it's a little too strong for me. It's too much, but with the cinnamon spice vanilla, that vanilla and cinnamon just makes it so good. 
and I burn this every single day. I didn't even show you progress lines, sorry. I burn this from here all the way down. I burn it every single day that I was working from home, which is like four days a week. <laughs> it's so good. So that's the end of the empties. Now let me update you on the only two candles that are left in the project. The first one is the Single Wick and Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint. I only burned it like once in the last month. Um, I don't really burn this that much, really only on like self-care days or if we like go to bed early or if we go up to bed early. We don't hang out in our bedroom that much, um, except for like on Sundays maybe when we sleep in, but we don't really hang out up there. We hang out down here. I live in a townhome, so it's like the first floor is the garage slash, off slash office. Second floor is the living space. So I have the living room right in front of me. That's the TV, the kitchen, dining room, and my work from home setup. So we primarily operate in the second floor. And the third floor is the two bedrooms and two bathrooms. So we really only go there to go to sleep and to wake up. So yeah, this one doesn't get burned too much, but that's okay. I'm not really pressed about it. Just wanted to track the progress on it. And then this one is coconut sandalwood. I've just actually started using it. So it doesn't have too much progress on it, but I will mark that for you. Well, that's a lie, actually. I guess I do have some progress on it. So here is the progress lines. Came uh, basically unused, and then we're down to here. So it'll probably be used over the next couple of weeks. The notes on this are, well, I can only read a few of them because there's a sticker covering it, but coconut palm, luxurious sandalwood, and jasmine. That's why I like this one. I love jasmine scents. It's just like a very sophisticated scent. It smells like something that would be in like... Um, what's it called? Anthropology. Like that's what it smells like. It does not smell like, I don't know. It smells super sophisticated. So I really like this scent. It's like a nice calming. The sandalwood is like super high end feeling. So yeah, when I want to feel like that, this is a good burn. I have it right now in my um, living room and we just burn it every now and then. Okay. Pulling in some other scents. Super excited. I'm going to pull in another Cinnamon Spice Vanilla in Paris Cafe. Not that I need to because I'm like obsessed with burning this every single morning anyways, but I'm gonna go ahead and mark it because I marked it when I started using it when it was unused and I've already gotten this far and I've only had it for like a week and a half. I got this on the day that Halloween came out. So July 18th and it's July 27th. So nine days and I've gotten that far on it. So. Yeah, I love this scent. I need to slow down on it. And hopefully I can slow down by putting in this scent, which is Pumpkin Donut Shop from last year. I love this candle. I have not tried this, uh, the 2021 version. The 2020 version, absolute beauty. Sorry, my doggies are walking around. Um, we are dog sitting for Kai's sister. <laughs> I'll show you them at the end of the video, but Pumpkin Donut Shop from 2021. The notes are glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices sprinkled with powdered sugar. There's no pumpkin spice in this. It's really just a powdered sugar donut, like tastes like the one, not tastes like, it smells like the ones that you get at the gas station. It smells so good. Mm. And I usually, whenever I burn the 2020 version, I would burn it with a coffee candle. So I think I'm gonna try and burn these two together in the mornings and see how that goes. But this is a staple scent for me, I love it. So I really hope the uh, 2021 version burns well. So that's those two. And this did not come back out this year. Super bummed about that, but I don't think it was a fan favorite. But me and my friend Ashley Nicole, we loved it. So we probably kept this one in business for one year at least. Okay, the next one I'm gonna put in is Pink Petal Tea Cake. So basically just kicking off um, or like ending the summer with this one. So I can get out of my collection. Not that I don't like it, but it's not my favorite. Um, I really could see myself saving this for next spring if I wanted to. Um, but if I can get through it, I will try to. But it's not my favorite scent. Um, I really don't smell the pound cake note in this one. It's Pink Rose Petals Pound Cake and Vanilla, gla vanilla Glaze. To me, it's just really rose petals, like vanilla rose petals. Um, so that's not my favorite scent. I don't like florals that much, but I'll try to finish this one off before the end of summer. Okay, and then I'm putting in three Homeworks candles, which are the only other Homeworks candles that I own. So the first one is Raspberry Linser Cookie in this beautiful hobnail jar, and I've already been burning through it a lot lately. Um, so as you can tell, it's down here. I'm not gonna mark it, but it is at like the basically the last row of hobnails right here. Um, I probably only have like another 
four days or three days of burning this one and it's probably gonna be done. But this is the most sophisticated scent I've ever had. The notes are fresh raspberry, almond cream, brown sugar, and baked cookie. It has, it is to me what Pink Petal Tea Cake is to a, um, to a floral lover. I think it has like something, I think it's the almond cream that makes it slightly, not floral, but like almost body care-esque more than gourmand. But oh my God, it's absolutely beautiful. A great burner, like look how beautiful those wicks are. I'm loving this one. I have this going in my kitchen and it's amazing. I'm definitely gonna have this finish up soon. Okay, the next one I'm putting in has only been used like once or twice and that's chocolate birthday cake. I still don't know how I feel about this one so that's why I wanna put it in the project and try and get my thoughts on it. The notes are dark and milk chocolate, espresso powder, warm vanilla and whipped cream. It basically smells like chocolate cake. It smells really good, super chocolatey. It almost has the same chocolate note as um, hot cocoa and cream from Bath and Body Works. I'll try and mark this. I can't really tell where it's at. I think it's just below the icing on the packaging. That's this one. I'm just going to see if I like it and uh, we'll go from there. And the last one I'm putting in is my fall preview basically. And that is hot cider donut from Homeworks. So excited to put this one in because I think I'm going to be ready for fall scents like mid August. I usually am like right after my birthday, which is August 2nd. Um, I'm usually like gung ho ready for fall scents. Um, so I wanted to put this one in in case I start getting that urge to burn fall. I can track it with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it. I have burned it a few times just like testing it out. Um, it has huge mushroom tops, but that's fine. I always clip the uh, wicks on homeworks candles, but it's, it's a really, really beautiful scent. The notes on this one are harvest apple, cinnamon sugar, vanilla bean, and spiced cider. So basically just hot cider donut. <laughs> um, just a cider donut scent. Smells really, really good. It honestly smells like the packaging um, pictures. Super pretty. I'm really excited for this one because I, I'm i kind of ready for fall, but I'm also like, I don't want fall yet. It's too hot here. It's mid to upper 90s slash 100s in Houston right now. So not loving it. So that is everything for my Project Wax update for basically the month of August. So I finished off five candles since June, since the end of June. And currently I have eight candles in the collection or in the project right now that I'm gonna try and finish. So hold me accountable for that. Hopefully I can get through most of them before the next update, which will probably be in September. So yeah, that is everything from me. If you are ready for fall scents, let me know down below what you're burning. I think my good intros will definitely be the pumpkin donut shop and the hot cider donut. So I'm really, I'm really liking donut scents, I guess. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Here's a look at the brother-sister duo. This is Kai. You guys know him. He's my baby. He's a husky lab mix. And he's a little bigger than his sister. And then here's his sister. We got the blankets on the couch so they can sleep there. And this is Ray Ray. So it's Kylo Ren and Ray from Star Wars. And she's a little smaller than him, but she's still super cute, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look her legs. <laughs> Sorry, I stopped painting.